It's been more than 60 million years since the dinosaurs ruled the Earth. And after a city-sized asteroid wiped out three quarters of all living species on our planet, but how exactly this doomed the dinosaurs remained unclear for a long time. Now, scientists previously thought that this was due to the soot produced from wildfires triggering a global winter. But there is a new study out that suggests that the fine dust from the pulverized asteroid may have played a bigger role than previously known, blocking out the sunlight and shutting down life for nearly two years. That caused a massive collapse in the food chain, ultimately leading to a mass extinction and the end of the dinosaur age. Joining me now to discuss this is astrophysicist Hakim Alushei. And Hakim, you are here to really solve a huge mystery for me and so many other people. This is a study published in the journal Nature Geoscience, and it seeks to answer this question. Why is it that we didn't know this before? And do you think it's plausible personally? Well, it, it's plausible because it is based on real data. So the actual material is crazy, but it's 66 million years old, but we can still go and gather it and see what's in there. And so they actually found this fine dust and that was the experimenters. But then on the computational side, they had to actually create these models that show not only how the dust interacts with sunlight, does it absorb it, does it reflect it, but also how does the dust interact with the atmosphere. And what they found is that this particular type of material could stay airborne for 15 years. Wow. Yeah. And, and producing a, a basically chain reaction. Yes. Killing off plant life first. Yes. And, yes. and that is what would have caused the dinosaurs to basically go extinct? Right, so when you shut down photosynthesis, right, so basically sunlight isn't making it to the ground. So plants aren't able to make their food, so the plant eaters have no source of food to eat. So now, what does that mean? That means that everything that eats plants is gonna die and everything that eats those animals is gonna die. So what really determined who was gonna live and who was not gonna live when this event occurred was how much you needed to eat. So for example, why did the dinosaurs die, but the crocodilians and the alligators, they survived? The reason is because dinosaurs were warm-blooded like us, and just like we need to eat three meals a day to live, those big dinosaurs needed a lot of food. A crocodile today, because they're cold-blooded, they don't need as much energy. So if they eat once a year, they can survive. So the small things survive, the cold-blooded small things survive. But if you were big and warm-blooded, once the food web shut down, you're, you had very... You know, your days were numbered. <laughs> so the science behind this relies on a commuter, computer model that simulated right. what the uh, atmosphere would have been like at that yeah. time. Is there anything that we can take away from that as we try to project forward? We're talking a lot about climate change right. and how our activity yeah. as humans is affecting our atmosphere. What yeah. can we take away? Well, one thing to know is that our atmosphere is a really, really thin layer. So even in the lifetimes of modern humans, we've had three big atmospheric emergencies. We've had acid rain. We've had the old hole in the ozone layer, and now we have global climate change, the warming of the global climate. And so this isn't the first time it's happened. That event did it, so outer space can do it through impacts, geology can do it through volcanoes, and life also does it. So what does this mean? What we've done so far is we've just lived our lives, and then we go, oops, look what we did. Let's find a way to solve it, right? We could be a little bit more mindful and also recognize that this particular type of particulate matter does have this big outsized impact at cooling the planet and shutting down sunlight. So, you know, it's another thing to watch out for.